This is a follow-up video to my original video on the novel approach to knee injections. In this one, I'm injecting visco supplement with a 21 gauge needle. And you can see that the needle tip is here along the cartilage interface. The fluid is flowing between the adipose tissue and the cartilage itself. Now, there's a couple other things aside from the actual injection that I want you to note here. And they are that the patellar tendon is here. We're injecting the needle through the gel layer here. This is a sterile gel and we build up a offset or a goo mountain as I like to call it put the needle through that and then the needle goes through the skin through the fat pad and into the joint itself right here in doing this approach if you are the kind of person who likes to see fluid moving then I would encourage you to move your transducer to the medial or lateral gutter or to move up to the super patellar pouch where you're more likely to see air bubbles in this particular video that i've taken of this injection you can easily see now that the visco supplement has created a very strong border and filled up the femoral notch If you're having any trouble visualizing or conceptualizing this particular approach, I've outlined here a few MRI sequences that can be helpful. Here is the medial femoral condyle, lateral femoral condyle. And if we flex this out of the way, then our needle comes in from medial to lateral like this. And the visco supplement in the last video rested right here. On the picture on the right, the needle path would be through the skin, through the fat, and then down onto the downsloping margin of the lateral femoral condyle. And the visco supplement from the last video would fill up the notch.